How's it going, Internet? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's that time again. It's time to get into some animation, time to get that imagination cranked up, get into some creativity, and it's time to get inspired. And today's inspiration comes from the iconic, wonderful comic book illustrator and uh, artist extraordinaire that is John Romita Jr. If you're not familiar with his work, how are you not familiar with his work? Uh, he, he's just wonderful. I love his stuff, especially his run on the Superman series with doing stuff with the New 52. Just beautiful, beautiful work. I really like his, uh, his signature, too. I think that's really cool. He does the John Romita Jr. So he does J.R. J.R. So that's just a, as far as artist thing goes. Very unique. And I like that, uh, his, his styling. Um, again, just check this out. I mean, that's some beautiful imagery right there. Overall, just great anatomy, great posing, really uh, has a lot of expression and mood in here. And then I really like the layout, very dynamic with, uh, it makes it so uneasy too because you have the nice um, straights in the back of uh, like the city and then the uh, smoke going off to uh, upper screen right and the lava pouring in and then down screen right on there and it just creates this really unsettling uneasy full of uh, emotion posing in there and it's just beautiful and I like that one too and always he has a lovely choice of colors as well um, but he's just got solid solid drawing really great uh, proportions and anatomy and uh, a great sense of movement throughout his drawings as well so definitely check out more from him if you haven't done so already. Do yourself a favor and uh, grab some of uh, his work off the comic book shelves. But uh, let's take a look at a little quote that I found from him that I just thought was wonderful. It's absolutely, you have no choice but to think differently. It's tough some days uh, to think differently in a good way. <laughs> But I think it's it's important to in order to um, put yourself out there and, and make a difference in a creative ways. You have to think differently. You have to allow yourself to not get boxed in, and that's tough because sometimes you know you get into routines, you get into patterns, you get into things that you know work for you, and then to break those to try to push your work further is it can be kind of shaky sometimes, but. I really like that think differently because uh, you know if you're just trying to and this is tough too especially for people who are, who are just starting to learn and everything you know you want to be like your favorite illustrator you want to be like your favorite animator you want to be like your uh, favorite sports hero or whatever it is that you're passionate about but I think once you hit a certain level you have to realize that you, you want to take what you can and learn what you can from those people that you're really influenced by but then if you really want to push a medium forward you have to try and think differently and that's hard because maybe you think differently and it fails and it flops or maybe you think differently and you're you know the next uh, what notch and you made minecraft and you're sitting in your million dollar mansion but the thing is like uh, it's reading something too on him and he's having difficulties and struggles too it's not all peaches and cream even when you have tons of money and you're successful so it's it's tough uh, but I think it's if you want to uh, separate yourself and go somewhere you have to try and think differently and what does that mean I don't know you come up with the idea just think differently but let's go ahead and get into some animation I am in a, a very ponderous analytical uh, mood today, so uh, this should be a fun one. Um, but let's get into some animation. If you're not familiar with what we'll be doing for the rest of the videos, we give ourselves uh, 48 frames, uh, give or take a few. I go off and I find a rig that I've never used before. It's a free resource for you guys to play around with as well. And we kind of go from there. A little bit of just hang out with me while I animate, a little bit of instruction or guidance or talking through the process or something relating to the creative or imaginative world in general uh, but most of all the main goal of doing these videos each and every day is to hopefully encourage you guys and inspire you guys to go off and create your own stuff using your own uh, wonderful thoughts that you're thinking differently um, so that being said let's go ahead and play around here oh I forgot to mention this is the enemy soldier rig it can be grabbed at uh, I believe it's 
mk3d.com. Again, I will throw a link in the description below along with more stuff from John Romita Jr. if you want to check out more of his stuff as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and play. Now, one thing I did notice just when uh, playing around with this rig, just a real cursory knowledge, is that the way that uh, these controllers are set up is very unique. Really utilizing that uh, think differently kind of mantra here. Uh, but let's try and create a more interesting pose here if we can. Okay, let's rotate that this way. Zero that over again. Okay, hold on. First, pull it down here and then swing it forward. Or not. Okay. And let's bend it here. And bring that down a little more. I'm going to have to just get in here and really crank this pose. How we want it. Okay, let's bring that up a little bit. Kind of even a little bit here as well. Not really. Okay, turn that head a little bit. a little bit more, rotate the hips a little bit more in line, tilt the chest a little bit here so you get a little bit of twist built in. That's an okay pose to start with. So right there and pull the hips down a little bit more. Go there, push that foot a little bit more forward here. I'll just leave that be for now. And we'll start off with something kind of like this. Okay, so let's make sure we just have our nerve curves, nerve surfaces, and polygons selected. We'll go ahead and set our frame range from zero to uh, one minute here. Yeah, let's uh, get a new perspective here just in case. Okay, yeah, it seemed like that camera was timed into something so we're just going to keep with this one and let's make sure we uh, save our file here we are using Autodesk Maya 2014 for today's video for more information on that and all wonderful programs from Autodesk Maya check out the links in the description below and let's go ahead and grab everything here and we'll set our first key there and let's start building this thing out here let's go a little bit slower maybe we'll go Fifty 
to six. Oof. So we have to cycle back through. Let's see. Okay, then we'll bring this foot. down at 21, like this is every seven frames, and down here, and up there, and down there, and then back up again. All right, and I think I'm gonna tone that down a little bit more, so let's go uh, window animation editors graph editor, and we'll look at our translate Y on the hips, and that's the up and down movement here. And let's scale that back a little bit. Yeah, let's see how that works. Okay, and let's look at the feet. We'll grab both of them and we'll just go in here and just hit S on our keyboard here just to make sure we lock in those main keys that we have. And let's start building those paths and positions. This one, and we'll go up there, and up here. Let's see. All right, those steps feel a little bit too high, so we'll grab both of them. We'll kind of find a good balance between the two sides and scale them back a little bit more. It doesn't have to be exactly even, but just somewhere in there. I feel like the hips probably shouldn't go up as high. So I think I'll just scale them back a little bit more and maybe take a little bit lower as well. Just there we go. Okay, and let's look at the hips again. And I'll take the translate X and we'll push the hips a little bit over the planted foot and back again over that side and over this side. In, and then back to zeroing that out. And I think we're going to tone that down quite a bit as well. And even it out for both sides here. And let's see. Let's see how that feels. Might still be a little too much, so let's look at it. That's going to look all right from this angle at least. And we'll do a little bit of rotating it here. There, rotate here, rotate there, and zero it out, and then clean that up again. And let's see here. See, I'm not sure if I'm going to approach this the same way or not. Yeah, let's try inverting it. And then we'll tone down the hips a little bit more here. Yeah. Scale that back quite a bit.
Let's see for now. There. I'll tone down the red to Y a little bit more. Okay, here I'm going to do a little bit of rotate the Y towards the other side here foot goes forward, but we're always going to keep this hip the more prominent hip. I think I'm going to tone it down a little bit more because that gun kind of tends to go into the, uh, the side there. feels a little too uh, weeble wobbly. Seems like there's something just in the cycle that's not looping correctly, so let's see. this a little bit more. Maybe a little bit less. So scale it back a couple of frames so it's not as extreme. Seems a little too far. 
Let's just scale that extreme back a couple of frames. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of forward back in this arm here. saw enough movement. Okay, probably too much now, so I'll scale it back a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and bend this up a little bit higher so that we can get out of the uh, movement of the leg there as it goes. Maybe a little bit lower on the step too. So we'll scale that down a little bit there. Go ahead and do a little bit of looseness in this elbow here. So we'll scale it back just a teeny bit. And let's see. And I think for this one, go ahead and tweak the initial pose a little bit. Scale that back a little bit more and even it out. Let's see here. Now, are there finger controllers? I do. I don't see anything that would uh, make me think that I have finger controllers, so let's see here. There's a UI thing, isn't there? Hmm. <laughs> There's some shoulders and stuff. I don't know if that this is this, uh, it's the knee. Sure, they're hidden here somewhere, but so let's keep going. Maybe we'll come across them as we go. Uh, let's look at these feet here. Let's go drag them back there a little bit and go forward here. Drag back a little bit further. So four frames in and then three frames. So four frames, drag back. Exaggerate that a little bit more. Okay, and let's look at the other 
other side here. We'll go four frames in, we'll drag it back, and then three frames we'll lift it up. Four frames, drag it back, and three frames lift it up. And let's see. This one might be a little too much, so maybe we'll scale it back. Let's do a little bit of uh, toe there. So let's see, toe wiggle, we'll drag it back and lift it up. And the two frames and we'll flatten it up. And then we'll drag it back here, lift it up, the two frames and we'll flatten it out here. Okay, too loose, so let's scale it back almost about half of what we had there. Let's see. There we go. Well, maybe, a, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and let's look at the other side here. And then we want to drag it back there, lift it up, two frames, and zero it out. Then drag it back here, lift it up, I just want a hint of that in there. Just so I get some movement in the head here. And let's see. Maybe a little bit less. save our file here. Go ahead and, I like this camera angle, so I think I'll just create another one just so we have one in perspective. And if we move, and we'll do a little bit of compression in the chest, so we'll go back and forward, and back and forward, back and forward, back, and then we can loop back in there. And this one I'm going to keep pretty tight, so just do a little bit of it, and we'll do it pretty even, so not too much variety in this one. And then we'll offset the chest just so we can loosen up a little bit of the spine there. Okay, and let's grab the chest controllers now, and we'll squish them in a little bit here. And we'll go in a little bit there, in a little bit there, out a little bit there. And we'll have to play around with this until we can uh, get it to work because we don't want it to affect everything else too much. And let's see how those look here. And again, we want to even them out pretty, pretty, uh, pretty standardized throughout. less on the chest here, scale it back a little bit, there we go, so then you just 
feel that there's some like, squash and stretch in there. There's some change in there. Let's see, is there a controller for that grenade? Maybe we could set one. Nope. Darn. Let's try to see what else we could do to play around here. too much so we'll scale it way down but just so we get some looseness in the face here we can add some variety though so some will be a little bit more and a little bit less let's see okay and I'll go ahead and save our file here we'll go ahead and do a blink and we'll key that there and then we'll go here and key that actually let's go about here still have a little bit of movement in those eyelids there and you can see it now now let's hold to get something on those fingers so maybe I'm just missing a finger controller here Let's uh, show all, that way maybe we have a controller that will become visible here. For, oh, okay, well that gives us the one for the grenades, so maybe we could do a little bit on there. I don't see anything that pops up for fingers still. Not this one, still not.
sheet a little bit. And then we'll take this one and we'll push it forward a frame. And this one and we'll push it back a frame. And we'll see. And let's go less up. guy and then we'll see we'll go to set that one and then at seven we'll have it uh, rotate forward a little bit we'll try X just a little bit this in the graph editor. It's a little bit sensitive, this controller here. So 49, we'll keep that. So if we don't get fingers, at least we get some other things that we can play around with just to add that extra little bit of uh, playfulness throughout here. And let's exaggerate a little bit more and bring that down let's see this should be going like that right oops and then let's open it forward a little bit more just so we get a little bit of swing in there we can play around with here. I guess we could do a little bit on the gun. We'll key that. We'll do a little bit uh, forward and back, I guess. Just a little bit. It's probably too much. It's working. I think we could do some stuff in the arm and the hand on this side, but I want to kind of keep them a little bit stiffer uh, than usual. We just loosened up the gun a little bit there to get that in the center. And let's show none. We'll put our nerve curves, our nerve surfaces, and our polygons again. And let's go ahead and save our file here. And let's create a little stand. Just something I've been liking to do lately. So we'll go ahead and create a polygon primitives. We'll do a uh, cube for this one. Go below over here. And we'll zero it out so it's right in the middle here. Turn our grid off. And we'll make it uh, a little bit less.
copy it and then paste on uh, copy that and uh, come here control C okay and control V to put another one on there and we'll make it a little bit bigger bring it down shrink it up So you could definitely spend another hour or so cleaning up and polishing up a little bit more but i think the idea is coming along there um so let's take a look back at where we start we're looking at the beautiful work of john romita jr he said absolutely you have no choice but to think differently and if you got no choice but to think differently well then you have to yeah i think it's a, a tough quote but definitely a, a good inspiring quote for the day um so thanks for hanging out everybody i hope that you uh maybe learned something or got uh excited about your own creativity maybe you'll go off and create something wonderful today and if you do feel free to share it down below uh, i'm happy to give you any sort of likes or comments or any sort of positive feedback i can send your way um, you guys are amazing i love you lots remember if you're watching this you guys are the creative future so never give up on your dreams and i hope you made another uh, amazing step along your journey towards uh, mastering whatever it is that you're passionate about. And I think that'll wrap it up for today. So don't forget that I love you guys lots, and uh, we will see you for some more animation tomorrow.